Hello everyone and welcome back to Happy Farm Life. Today's video is about match day. So if you're watching this video, I am so sorry that you did not match, but you were one of many. And I know that it sucks right now. I personally have not gone through this, I'm gonna be honest, but I have been with friends who did and I know how difficult it is. I've had the anxiety up until that point, that thought of what would happen. And I wanna come here with good news. I have an awesome match story down below. It is one of the podcasts from the Lux Pharmacist. She had this happen to her last year and she ended up in a great hospital after match two. So I'm gonna leave that podcast down below if you need some inspiration. But I just want you to know that this is not necessarily the end of your journey by any means. So this video is designed specifically for you to be able to overcome this and come out on the other side with a residency or maybe what would have been better for you in the beginning. So the first thing that you need to do is just relax. You still need to be proud of yourself for going through this entire process. It is stressful. It is grueling. It is just downright hard. And what you have done, regardless of your match status, you need to be proud of that. The next thing you really need to do is reflect on that. If you haven't already, do you think you did the best you could in your interviews? Is there something that maybe you could have done better on your application if you didn't get many interviews? Did you ask for a positive, keyword here, positive letter of recommendation from your references? And do you think that they actually followed through with those? These are all the kinds of reflections that you need to have and look at whenever you're going into this process. Next is evaluating your references, having people ready to go that you can ask for a letter because this is a quick turnaround time. So the 13th is the day, is today, it's match day that I'm recording this, but right there on the 17th, which is not far away, is the first day that you can submit applications and getting them in fast is very important for phase two. They're looking for people. We're doing a lot of online interviewing here. It's a very different process than what you went through before because April 1st is the date that you would submit a rank list. So this turnaround time is not, not much time at all. Getting your references in, updating your letters of intent, going through that list. And my biggest advice to go through this list is to know your must and know your wants. So what must you have to reach your goals? For example, if you want to be an oncology pharmacist and you are applying to programs with the don't have oncology, that residency does not meet your career goals and you should reevaluate. Maybe it's better to wait a year if none of the programs you're looking at have that because you're not going to reach your goals through this year and it's a very grueling year to not do what you want and come out with the outcome that you want. So knowing your must and knowing your wants and where those rank for you. You must get oncology so you narrow down to the places that have an oncology rotation. Now what are your wants? Do you want to have palliative care as an option? Do you want to have a pain rotation because that would help you? Are you bad at infectious disease and you want to have that? Those are things that you want. So try to get as many of your wants as you can without compromising your must. Again, it's a very rapid process. So making sure you're doing this and being diligent with your time. If you're currently on rotation, it is very important that you talk to your current preceptor and let them know what happened. Oftentimes they're a really good resource for advice as well. Some of them have been through residency and when you start talking about phase two, you would be amazed at how many people went through match two. It is crazy how many awesome, awesome pharmacists that I know whenever we start talking about that, we're like, well, I matched in match two and it was great. I loved the place that I was at. They're going to know somebody who's went through it, even if they didn't do it themselves and they can hopefully give you some advice as well. Next is practicing your interviews. If you're not familiar with doing online interviews, it's very different than in person. And maybe it's a good time to ask for advice and some hard feedback that maybe you're not ready to hear. I think this is good for just residency in general, but talking to a trusted mentor and asking them for advice, do some practice questions with them, answer some of those common questions and get their advice on your answers. Because honestly, you may have been doing something that is a red flag and never known it. But if you trust somebody enough to give you that advice, you have to be ready to hear it. However, hearing that advice could be the difference between you getting residency and you not. It's also a good time to evaluate whether or not this is what you actually want. 
it's very easy for you whenever everybody is telling you you want to do a residency to go that route, but honestly, it may not be what's best for you. So this is the time to evaluate what your career goals are, what you want to get out of your career, and maybe match two isn't for you. And maybe it is. This is the time to figure it out. You don't want to wait any longer. Really sit down, figure out your priorities, your goals, and what you want out of life, and see if residency matches that. And if it does, great. Match two is all for you. You need to watch some videos for inspiration and then go gung-ho into it. If it's not, that's okay. I know residency is pushed so hard right now because we are in a difficult time in pharmacy and additional training is needed, but it's not for everyone. It's a really hard year. It doesn't meet everyone's career goals. And if that's you, that's okay. I wish you all the best of luck on your journey to find your perfect match, whether that be through match two or whatever job prospects you have in the future. Good luck and I will see you next time. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about today, feel free to put it in the comments below or find me on my Instagram at, at happyfarmlife and send me a private message. I love getting those as well. And just let me help you through anything you need in the future part of this process. If you have any other questions that you really want me to answer about residency, feel free to let me know and I will consider them for a future video. Thanks again. Bye.